Mm. Fine. Okay. When we set up, we're ready to go. Hello, I'm James Alexander. Welcome to my latest blog as I prepare to collaborate with the Philadelphia Orchestra on staging four Stokowski celebration concerts in the Academy of Music this June. How can anyone do justice to the legacy of work which this fascinating and complex musician, Leopold Stokowski, left to us? It's well documented that in his mission to take good music to the American public, Stokowski was a true innovator and loved engaging with the technology of his time. When I started thinking about these four concerts, I thought, here is a truly historic moment. Here is this world-class orchestra making history by doing several things simultaneously in 2012. Paying tribute a hundred years on to a founding music director, welcoming a new music director, revisiting its former home where Stokowski himself conducted. One initial thought about the celebratory nature and content of these concerts involved a madcap idea to invite Stokowski himself to appear at his own celebratory concerts. I thought it would be fun to have the old maestro literally pass the baton to the new music director. This idea led to a lot of further thinking and many discussions with my technical team at Symphony 5.0. Various ideas began to take flight. If he was invited, what age would he appear as? Remember, Stokowski passed away at the grand old age of 95. My remit to myself was to remain respectful to this great maestro's memory whilst adding a touch of fun to the proceedings. We thought about the possibility of having an actor come on stage with the Philadelphia Orchestra. We thought about using recordings of his voice with that very variable accent of his, alongside footage of him projected onto the stage. We even thought of projecting footage of him and manipulating his mouth on the screen to make it look as if he was speaking our script. Various and many ideas kept flowing in. If he did come to the concert as a guest, where would he sit? Why, in a box of course, a VIP, true royalty. If he did speak to Yannick or you, the audience, what would he say? And what about his look? I wanted to settle for a look that didn't make him appear too young and naive, nor one which made him look too aged. After all, if you had a chance to come back, what age would you choose? We settled on an image from his prime years, when he was busiest and most successful, and agreed that we would contract the services of an actor. As I alluded to earlier, Stokowski's accent was very fluid and, in my opinion, ever so slightly grand, yet engaging. So with these very many factors, it became obvious that we were not recreating the maestro. We were just giving him voice, giving him presence at his own concerts. So, if you want to join maestro Leopold Stokowski at his own celebratory concerts, come to the Academy of Music, June 21, through 23.